Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Josh. Um, I know I haven't made a video in about six months. So I apologize for that, but I will have you know that I'm back. Kind of, sort of. If you believe that. Um, uh, you know, I've been doing other shit, but who cares, right? Um, basically, today, I'm just going to be doing this uh, kind of school stories kind of video. Some shit that I got in trouble for. Um, these are only five examples. I have... Probably 80 more. <laughs> but honestly, these were the five that I kind of just brainstormed last night and couldn't really think of um, otherwise. But if you guys do like this video, please comment and maybe I'll make another five more. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so number five. Um, so, oh, shit. It was probably 2005, 2006. So I, so I was probably about four or five at the time. Um, yeah, we're starting really early. Um, I was in preschool-ish or so, and um, we there were only probably two bathrooms for like in this entire preschool, and of course it was always the boys and the girls. So there would be this one room, this one bathroom with like five fucking toilets set up, and we'd all you know piss in it. So, one day, um, I think some kid said some shit about one of my friends at the time, and I was just, you know, I was sitting there pissing, and I overheard him, and so what I did was, I pissed, and I just turned around and started pissing on him. And, of course, he was like, <laughs> and shit like that. And, um, you know, I got in trouble, of course, fucking teachers were like, wait, what's going on? And, uh, you know, he told me, he peed on me, which, of course, I did. I, I, I didn't deny it. I was always a pretty honest kid. I was like, yeah, I did. Um, I don't really remember a whole lot. Um, I don't really remember the consequences of whatever came of that. I, I do remember, however, they laid me down on this little map, and they called my parents in front of me, and they were like, Miss Westbrook, your fucking kid peed on another kid or whatever. Um, and I, my dad had came to pick me up from preschool that day and of course I was nervous as hell my sister was in the car so I was like okay well if my sister's in the car he won't be mad or whatever uh, but of course he still was <laughs> and we pulled up to my house and he says Ash I need you to go in your room and I was like oh and I guess I should go to my room too and he was like no I need you to fucking go upstairs so I did I went up to my living room and he yelled at me like I've never been yelled at before still to this day um, and I was only fucking five years old probably and he was like, did you piss on a kid? And of course, I was like, no, dad. I, I, was, I was always honest with teachers, but I was never honest with my parents. No, dad, I piss on the one. And of course, you know, bullshit. But it's like, dude, if you already know that I did, why the fuck are you going to ask me? Anyway. School, uh, school story number four. Number four. four. Um, so this one was, I entitled this one of my little flashcards here, um, Throwing Sticks at Cars. So, a couple years later, I was in kindergarten or first grade. Um, I know I'm really early. I'll get later as time goes on. But I, um, yeah, I was, always really, I was always really mischievous with my friends, or mischievous, however the fuck you say that word, um, with my friends. I was always doing something nefarious with my friends. And one day we decided, uh, I don't even remember if it was my idea. I think it was one of my friends' idea. <clears throat> Um, so our elementary school was right next to these two really busy roads. I mean, there'd be traffic going in and out, and in and out, and in and out, all fucking day. So one day we're outside at recess, and my friend is like, "Dude, let's throw some sticks at cars. We won't get caught." And of course, I'm I'm, I'm like six. I'm like, "Okay." So of course we start fucking. There's this bush here, and we start picking twigs and sticks and shit off off the uh, tree. And when a car would go by, we would just fucking we would just chuck it at cars. Um, and no one really ever responded um, until eventually someone saw us and I guess reported us and we got caught and sent down to the office. And for years people had mistaken that we had thrown rocks at cars. Um, I still think even to this day my family thinks I was throwing rocks at cars. I was throwing sticks, which I guess really isn't any much better. I mean, I don't think, but yeah, but like sticks won't do like as much damage as say right. I mean, I shouldn't have been throwing anything, but I was six. Who cares? Um, but basically, the the real fucking kicker uh, of this story is the fact that I never got confronted, but um, apparently someone had reported damage that had happened to their car, and 
I guess to the school or something. It was like these kids did it, and um, <laughs> I never got talked to about it. But um, the funny thing was, uh, the people, my parents were like, "Didn't you?" Or no, the office people were like, um, "He reported that he got out and started yelling at someone. Did you not hear him?" And I think I said something along the lines of, "No, I thought he was yelling at his wife." <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I guess the office people found that really funny because when they called my parents and told them that, uh, they were all laughing in the background. So that, that's that. Story number trace number three number three. Um, so fast forward to about middle school now, about fifth grade. Um, I was in math class, and uh, there was this kid by the name of Kobe. I'm not going to name his last name, uh, even though I don't really give a shit. You know, I'll say it. his last name was Gant. His name was Kobe Gant. And uh, he was always a bit, a bit taller than me. He still is taller than me to this day. If I was standing right here, he was about this tall. And um, one day we were doing some activity in math or something, and there was this girl, I'm not going to name her name, but she was sitting next to me, and I believe that we were doing something with cards, and I had tried to take one and accidentally touched her hand or something. And the fucking, you know, math teacher was all, um, you know, like, yeah, stop holding hands with her and get on with your work and shit like that. Because this is southeast Missouri. Everyone has that fucking southern accent down there. And, you know, the whole, uh, you know, classroom erupts in laughter. Ah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So about ten minutes later, I'm up and I'm still in the class. And um, I go up to his desk, or every student in the class does, because we're waiting in line for something. And he's sitting next, he's standing next to me. And um, we're arguing about something. And he says something along the lines of, um, why don't you go hold hands with her again? And eventually, and it, it, see, back then I was a lot easily triggered than I am today. And I was basically like, what the fuck, just shut up, dude. And I start pushing him, and he pushes me. And he's like, push me again. That's important, remember that. He says, push me again. So, of course, I pushed him again, and then he pushed me back. And we, I started, you know, swinging on him a little bit. And eventually, Matthew was like, Josh, you know, go to the office. Even though he was the one who was involved in it, too. Um, but, you know, I get sent to the office, and I fucking, you know, I walk out, and I slam the door behind me, go to the office, tell them, you know, this is what happened, and, um, I'm sorry I did that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, the next day, he gets called into the office, you know, along with me, and the principal was all like, you know, what happened, you know, why'd this go down? And he, of course, the the fucking story is altered by a lot. Um, when he explains it, he says, you know, well, I wasn't doing anything, I was just talking to him, and he started pushing me, and I was like, please don't push me. Remember, he said, push me again, like that. He didn't say, don't push me, please. No one would say that anyway. Um, so, of course, I tell him no. He was a lot more belligerent. He was like you know, push me again and everything, and blah, 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 you know, and who cares, um, but long story short, I got two days of ISIS, I think he got one day of ISIS, because I had started the fight, and, um, that was that, I, I still don't really like the kid, um, he was always looking to fight, you know what I mean, there was always a great deal of animosity between us, um, but story number two, story number two, um, this one was the one that, angered me the most, and still angers me. I know I probably should have said this for number one, but number one is actually the most recent. Um, but this one, this was the most absurd thing I had ever gotten in trouble for, even to this day. Even to this day. And I've gotten in trouble for some pretty bullshit things. I got in trouble one time because I was throwing pencils at the ceiling. And that was, n that was nowhere near as absurd as um, the amount of trouble I got in for number two. So I was uh, in sixth grade now. It was towards the end of the year. It's probably last week of May. You know, hey, you know, school's about to get out, whatever. And I was um, <clears throat> I was laying down on this little um, ottoman that they had in the library, um, along with the other class, um, and we were watching some. Movie. I can't really remember what the. I think it was. I think it was like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or something. Actually, now that I think it was definitely that. Um, and, you know, I was just sitting there, I was laying there, you know, watching the movie, or whatever, because we, what were they going to teach us, you know, it was the last week. And I had this D.A.R.E. brace, I don't know if you guys remember D.A.R.E., but it was basically some bullshit, you know, um, don't do drugs, you know, kind of subtle kind of, you know, um, presentation, this cop would come in or whatever. And, um, 
I had gotten a bracelet because I had graduated the class. And I was doing something, I don't remember what it was. I was like doing that on the ottoman because it was boring, you know, it's just one of my things I do I was just, when I'm just like playing with something. And it, and it accidentally made like a sound, like, like, like a fart sound. And, you know, of course the whole cl the class fucking heard it and was like, Ugh, and shit. And so the teacher who's, you know, um, a couple feet away doing God knows what is like, you know, Josh, come here. And I'm like, okay, you know, well, something happened. I'm sorry, you know. Um, I guess I'll go up to her now and explain what happened. I go up to her, and she's like, go sit on the bench. I'm like, and, and, and of course I'm infuriated. I am infuriated because even back then, I was a lot worse. I'm bad today. I still hate uh, authority. I was I was a hundred times worse back then, and it took so much fucking energy for me to stay calm. It's like, uh, but ma'am, I'm trying to explain to you basically what happened. You know, are you arguing with me? No, I'm not. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just trying to explain to you that this is what. Go sit on the bench. I wanted to fucking kill her. I wanted to fucking smash her in the face because she was ha universally hated by the entire school, and I could see why. Um, actually, there's this kid, I'm not going to name his name, but he, um, me and him never really got along, and we disagreed on everything, politics, um, sports, whatever, and he had told me one time that, dude, I fucking hate her, she's a bitch. We had disagreed on literally everything, but we had agreed on that one fact, that she was the biggest fucking bitch teacher, and probably on the planet. Still to this day, I haven't had a teacher as bitchy as her, and this was... Four years ago, probably. Um, so, anyway, off topic. I I go sit on this bench, because she had told me to. And I'm infuriated. I'm thinking, I'm sitting over here for no reason. And I couldn't fucking explain myself. And I tell her that. She's doing something else. I fucking raise my hand. And I'm like, look, I was just trying to explain to you that... And now I'm, now I'm getting a little more hostile. And I was like, that I that it was an accident. Okay, it was an accident. I didn't mean to... I don't want to hear it. No. And I stand up. And I say, fuck this. I said, fuck this. I didn't say, freak this, forget... I said, fuck this. That loud. And I walked out of there. And I said, no wonder the school has, you know, a bad rating or whatever. Because it was like two stars out of five on, like, greatschools.com or whatever. And, um... <clears throat> I guess the teachers in the library didn't hear what I said, and he was like, and they were like, what did you say? And one of these, like, assistant teachers was like, I heard what he said. And I guess gave some sort of testimony in the fucking um, principal's office where I had gone. And I, um, my principal, um, before this incident, had always been pr pretty chill for the most part. You know, I explained to him uh, some problems, and, you know, and he had seemed pretty decent. I was like, you know, he's, you know, he's an okay guy. I was pretty indifferent. Until this day. Okay, this day I was pissed. I know I've been going on long about this, but this was the one I was most pissed about. I go up to, um, the office. Sit down. He's like, look, what happened? The bitch, Miss, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right now. Her name is Miss Wynn. She was the bitch teacher. She had hair like this, and she wasn't Asian. I know Wynn sounds like an Asian name, but her hair is about this. A uh, pale, ugly, you know, orange hair, disgusting creature. I'm hated by everyone. And she's like, he's being very disrespectful and disruptive. And I'm thinking, disruptive to what? We were watching a fucking movie. Um, and, I, you know, she walks out and I tell I tell the guy, the principal, I'm like, look, man, I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have had an outburst like I did afterwards, but I was just trying to explain to her that I had this bracelet thing, and basically what I was doing was doing this, and it actually made a fart sound, I apologize. And he starts to say, um, you know, you're in the wrong because, uh, you know, she's the, she's the teacher, you're the student and shit. Like, how fucking condescending, and what a fucking lame appeal to authority. Well, she said this, so this must be true, because she has some fucking degree, I guess. I mean, he's the fucking soccer coach. He doesn't, he's not qualified to be a principal. So what makes you think that this bitch who's fucking teaching the library at a goddamn middle school is qualified to be a teacher? Um, but anyway, you know, she did this. I was fucking pissed. Um, I'm not going to say fuck you to the principal. I really wanted to. I was this close to saying it. But I was basically like, this is bull. You know, I said bull. I didn't say bullshit. 
Um, but, you know, I go home, I try to explain to my mom, like, this is actually what happened. She takes my fucking Xbox away for only a couple days until I basically, basically bitch and whine enough to where I get it back. But it was that incident that basically, um, showed me that, um, authority, they don't care about your well-being. They only care about disciplining you. And hoping that you learn a lesson from Which I didn't learn shit. That, that's the only thing I learned. I learned that she's the biggest fucking bitch in the world. And I um, am glad that I moved out of the school district. Because that was absolutely fucking absurd. And number one. Number fucking one. This is the most recent one. This one actually happened last year. Um, so I'm in high school now. I'm in 10th grade. I'm a sophomore. And um, last year, th this was again probably about at the end of the year. Um... We had probably about 10 days left to go, and I was sitting at this lunch table with my friend uh, Max and some other kids, and, you know, it, it's towards the end of the lunch shift, and Max has this quesadilla, which is disgusting. Pretty much all public school food is disgusting. I don't know how it is at private schools. I've never been to private school, but public school food is fucking gross. So we're all joking, and like, you know, hoo, 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 and Max is like, dude, you dare me to throw this fucking just quesadilla somewhere, and I'm like... Whatever. I mean, I'm just playing, like, Clash of Clans on my phone or something. And I'm, like, speaking of which. And, um, I'm just like, whatever. And he fucking takes the quesadilla and tosses it across the laundry room. I'm like, what the fuck? Because I didn't think he was actually going to do it. And he throws it. And it hits this girl named, um, I'm not going to say her name. But it hits her on the back of the head. And the funny thing is I had actually gotten in trouble a couple of years ago for throwing something at her, too. But, anyway, throws something at her, hits her on the head, I believe... And she turns around, she's like, you know, what the fuck? And, um, you know, we're all laughing, whatever, ha ha ha. Next day, um, nothing, you know, nothing really happened for the rest of the day. But the next day, um, I was playing a game on my phone, you know, at the same table. And I was like, um, I think I was doing something where this character was supposed to be responding. And it was being really unresponsive. It was like, hey, get your fucking ass out, you know, over here. You know, not my game. And coincidentally, I had said, hey, what, right when she had walked by. And so everybody, you know, at the table starts, you know, starts laughing. Um, and I'm like, what? And, she, and they're like, you just said, hey, the girl, like, you know, he fucking threw the pizza out or whatever. Um, they called it pizza, but it was really a case of deal. Um, and I was like, oh, you know. And they were like, do it again, do it again. And I was just like, hey, you know, I was just like, ah, and shit. And she gets pissed, okay? She gets her cousin, and his, her, his, his, her cousin, um, he's like, who threw the pizza at you? And she's like, it was that kid right there. And he goes up to him, and he says, hey, pussy, you want to fight? You want to fuck with me? Shit like that. And, uh, you know, and then eventually he backs off because Max is just like, what the fuck? Um, and that was that. She goes up to the principal, fucking, you know, snitches on us. Says that table over there threw something at me. I'm not sure who it was, blah, blah, blah. Um, but she was sure who it was. So, you know, principal walks over says, this whole entire table needs to go up to the principal's office after, after lunch. So we do. We, we fucking walk up there. And they sit us all down. And they're like... You know, this girl had, you know, went in there and told exactly what happened. And they sit us all down or whatever. And they're like, okay, look, what happened? And keep this in mind. She was a Muslim girl. And we were all white guys. So you see how this kind of looks. Um, but it wasn't anything like that. He was throwing, he tossed the thing to just hit a random person. But anyway, um, the fucking, you know, guy's like, you know, why'd you do that? And, um, you know, he didn't know who threw it the first time. I was like, you know, he was like, who threw it? And I was like, well, he threw it, Max threw it. And he told the entire group, he was like, you guys are harassing her. Um, I also heard something about an orange juice or something um, that was thrown at her. And we were like, we don't know anything about it anymore. Just because we didn't. Um, and he was like, what do you think it fell from the sky? And I basically come up and I, I'm like, um, it, it must have. I don't know where the fucking orange juice came because he was he was talking to me he was looking at me when I, when he said that he was like Josh do you think it came out of the sky and I said it must have you know I I don't know where it came from and we didn't we genuinely didn't so um, long story short he gets I think I assessed for like no he gets 
like three lunch detentions or something. We don't get in any trouble. But he's um, but the, a different principal now. There's like four principals. One of them was a black guy. The black guy was like, you know, you think it fell from heaven or whatever. And he um, he tells us all if we look at her skull, fucking fart. He says fart. He literally said fart next to her. We're all gonna. They're gonna throw the book at us. And I'm like, whatever. That's absurd. Um, so for the next, you know, ten days, or whatever. Um, we didn't do anything. But the funny thing was, first of all, our store, our our claim that we had no idea where this juice it came from was verified. Okay, Max was like, he doesn't know what he's talking about, and he didn't. Our story had been verified by somebody. I think I think some other kid threw it or something. And this was a while before this incident ever happened. And um, the other principal, the white guy who was was talking to Max, was like, "Did you throw it at her because she was Muslim?" And what really makes this funny is they have no clue what they're talking about because the black principal was like, yeah, but there's no trash can over where you threw it. Actually, he's wrong. There was a trash can. In fact, there were two trash cans where he threw it. Now, obviously, he wasn't aiming for the trash can, but that just shows you how naive they were in the situation. Um, I've been rambling on about this for a little bit, but this one pissed me off. Not nearly as bad as the second one, but this one pissed me off, too. So, next ten days go on. We don't say anything to her, blah, blah, blah. But the last, the very last day of school... Um, I, the bus had come up to my bus stop, and I walk, off, I walk to the front, and the girl is sitting, you know, the Muslim girl is sitting right there, and I turn around, and I just give her this, like, look, and, you know, that would be considered, you know, we, I would have gotten in trouble, and get off, because I'm a badass, and get off, and, you know, three months later, come back to school, nothing was ever said about her, I guess she either forgot, or even if she did tell, what are they going to do, um, so that was interesting. And, um, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. That was the most recent time I had gotten into big trouble. Um, my parents never got notified about it, I guess, because I didn't get any ISS time. But, yeah, that was it. Um, so if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever. Um, and if you really like this video... Comment below saying you want to see another one. Because I'm sure I could brainstorm another five or so. I'm uh, sorry I made this goddamn video so long. I just had to ramble on about some past experiences. Bye.